Hi, it's Darnell with Way Loving Recipes. Today, I'm going to rotisserie a whole five pound chicken in the New Wave Brio 14Q air fryer oven. This 14 core air fryer oven is supposed to be able to rotisserie a whole five pound chicken. So we're going to see how it does with that right now. All right, so here's our bird for the day. This is a Purdue whole young chicken. It weighs in at 5.3 pounds. So basically I'm gonna get this unpackaged and then I'll start with the uh, trussing of it with some cooking twine. The seasonings are gonna be pretty simple. I've got some black pepper that I'll be freshly cracking on it. Got a little uh, poultry seasoning. I got some applewood smoke sea salt that I'll be putting on this chicken. And as I always say, for you who feel that this chicken must be washed before cooking, please see the food safety video playlist in the video description. All right, so I got this bird really well trussed up because I'm gonna have it on a rotisserie. I wanna make sure it's trussed really, really well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rotisserie spit on with the uh, prongs here. And so, got one side, make sure that's real tight. Just gonna stick it through the bird. And get those forks in there real nice and tight. Then stick the prong on the other side, nice and tight. Get my bird in there, good. Get it tight in there. I'm gonna move it more to the center. I'm loosening this one on the side to get the bird nice and centered. Now I'm tightening down my screws. All right, now that I've got things really well tightened in, now I'm gonna go ahead and season the bird. I know I could have like, you know, maybe shook it in a bag of seasoning before and such, but I'd like to do it this way. Alright, at this point I've got my bird well seasoned. To get it into the uh, New Wave Brio 14Q, I'm just turning the one to get the light on. Basically there's a square on this side of the rotisserie that you just put into a hole. That square on this side, the other side has kind of a little notch. That notch goes onto the side with the notch. So, very easy getting the bird in. And it's kind of dangling, so that's not good. Gotta get it out. It's in, but it was dangling, so I'm gonna have to basically move it down probably a little bit more on the rod and then try and maybe tighten up a little more on the legs. Alright, so just tighten the legs a little more and just adjusted the bird on the spit a little bit. Now I've got it in there. It's in there good. All right, so I'm gonna close up the New Wave Brio 14Q. I'm gonna leave the temperature at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temp I'm gonna cook at during the rotisserie cook. I'm going to adjust the time up to one hour. So we're going up to an hour, and there we go. And I hit the rotisserie button because I wanna get things spinning. So now you see my bird there in the rotisserie. And so, like I said, I've got 360 degrees Fahrenheit, got my rotisserie button pressed, got one hour time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. And there we go. Things have started cooking. My bird is spinning and spinning and spinning. So have a look at that there. So we'll let that spin. I'll bring you on back. All right, we're done through the Last 10 seconds of this one hour cook at 360 degrees Fahrenheit in the New Wave Brio 14Q. Gonna get in there and test temperature in a moment. So pop it open. And let's get our instant read thermometer on the case. Oh, gonna get in here. That's in a, well, it wasn't in a breast meat there. Let me get in the breast meat. The skin's kinda, kinda tight. 
It's in the 180s. That's in the breast meat. All right. Before I wasn't wasn't really hitting into the meat when I got that earlier low read. But yeah, everywhere I'm hitting is in the 170s, 180s. Um, I can't really get around to the thigh, but I'm gonna pull it. All right, got my gloves on. Get it out of there. It's pretty easy just to lift right off the holder there and get it get it out nice and easy. All right, so now I do want to check down under here, see what I get. I'm in the 170s, like 169, 170. 165 is the lowest I'm getting. I'm not, not hitting meat there. All right, there I'm in the 170s, 180. So we're good. We're good and safe with this bird. Got myself some foil. I'm just going to lightly cover the bird, and I'm going to just let it rest. Tinted with foil for about 20 minutes or so. Just let it rest, and then I'll do the actual cut plate and taste test. All right, so I just gave the meat a little time to rest. Going to remove the foil, and there we have our finished product. I think it came out pretty nice, has a real nice color to it. So now it's time to basically start cutting the strings off and try and slice a piece for our taste test. All right, I'm going to just uh, cut right here into the breast meat. The uh, skin is really, really got a lot of toughness to it. I think I just hit some bone here. Alright, I think I was going into some bone as I was slicing over here. Let me turn it around because I'm, I'm hitting the, I'm cutting on the wrong side <laughs> is what I'm doing. I was cutting on the wrong side. I need to go over here where the breast meat is. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, now we'll come over here where the real breast meat is at and cut over here. piece off of here. Here's our uh, sliced meat. Let me give you a closer look. Just uh, it's falling away pretty good as I I cut on it. I'm gonna get some of the some of the skin off of there too. We'll taste test a little piece of skin. So I guess we'll taste test with that. I'm going to move the camera around and do some taste testing with you. All right, here's our chicken from the rotisserie. I'm going to taste a piece of the meat. Pretty good, moist. I mean, uh, I just want to try a piece of the skin, just to try the skin. Very good. I'm gonna try one more piece of meat. All right, so the chicken came out very good. Comes out moist, comes out, you know, with a nice color and all. So the New Way Brio 14Q air fryer oven can rotisserie a chicken, rotisserie it pretty well. Basically, uh, I guess I'd say comparable with the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite's rotisserie, but larger than the uh, standard Power Air Fryer Oven or Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. So I like the job that it did. I will say, compared to the New Way Primo, I think the New Way Primo does beat the New Way Brio when it comes to how moist the end result is. Everything that I cook out of the New Way Primo has a little more moistness, and I guess it's because of that dome and how things work with that dome in the New Wave Primo grill oven, but the New Wave Brio does a good job. It does a real nice, you know, rotisserie cook on a chicken. If you like rotisserie chicken, you can do a good job with it. And so now you see how you can do it. And so definitely looking forward to your comments. You can find this other recipe heating instructions at superwaveovenrecipes.com in a printable form. You can always come to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at waveovenrecipes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and good eating.